Hey guys, good morning. Uh, we have uh, a new friend joining in. Uh, thanks for joining uh, the Art Talk uh, by Sneha Arts. Uh, Sneha Arts is a renowned, uh, you know, uh, exhibition. You know, they actually do art sculptures and exhibitions uh, in Hyderabad. Uh, this is run by Dr. Snehalata Prasad, uh, very well known sculptor and artist, uh, and you know, she does a lot of exhibitions and shows around. So today we have uh, Sri. Uh, Jatin Das, who is joining in today, uh, he is a famous sculptor. He is joining in from Delhi today. He is uh, famous for his uh, contemporary art. Uh, you know, he lives in uh, Delhi. He has been doing uh, uh, art for like 60 years. You know, almost six decades. And he is also uh, conferred with uh, Padma Bhushan Award. Uh, you know, one of the highest uh, civilian awards by the president. And uh, his uh, murals, sculptures have been installed in various locations, very well known. Uh, so maybe he can talk more about his journey. Uh, so thanks a lot for joining in here, sir. Namaskar. So uh, Jatin, sir, can you tell us about your journey, how did you start from 60 years is a very long time uh, and it's an honor to have you here in this particular show. Uh, so you. maybe you can talk about how your journey started, why you chose art uh, compared to all the other professions which were available during your time. Uh, so over to you. Uh, you know, 60 years have passed by like yesterday. You know, when you keep working, you don't realize how the time has lapsed. You know, uh, talking on Skype on, the, on this screen without looking at the audience, it's, it's quite a, a different experience, like when I used to have television program. But uh, I've also been a teacher hmm. for many years. Ramachandran, Paramjit and me, we taught at Jamia Media University. We set up the fine arts faculty, but I left. So nobody is interested in learning art. Before I start, I would like to say thank you very much, Sneha. And uh, she's not in the frame, but thank you, Sneha, uh, for inviting me. I'm very fond of Hyderabad. I'm from Orissa and adjacent to Andhra Pradesh. So we share the sea and the land together. Okay. I don't, I don't believe in boundaries at the same time. I don't believe in the division of India. I don't believe in houses with boundary, cities and countries with boundary. Having said that, I'm originally from Mayurbhanj, a old princely state in Orissa, very renowned princely state. So in my early days, I, uh, although it was a small town, the capital of Mayurbhanj, called Baripada, we had literally everything that's required in a civilized town. That is, we had a big library, we had a council hall, we had a zoo, we had many gardens, we had museums. Uh, my school is 150 years old. The school for boys, school for girls, poet school, etc. Wow. Colleges, lake, river, you name anything. Sports, dance and music. My mother is to write poetry. My sister is to write poetry. My elder brothers is to draw. When uh, then I went to Bombay to study art at the age of seventeen. My younger son is seventeen now. At that age, I went alone from Moyurfaj to Bombay in a train, and somebody was sitting next to me. Turned out that he was next to the JJ School of Art. He lived. And he said, come and stay with me. We were very affectionate in those days. There's a sea change in the country, not only uh, in the society, also in the art. People were simple, people were innocent, people were affectionate, people were kind, trustworthy, and so on. So having said that, I went to JJ School of Art. It's one of the best art schools in the country, set up by the British. The very first school, it's about 170 years old. The building design of the art school is one of the best in the world. It has 40 feet skylight and so on. Anyway, so I was talking about, I'm going to talk at a tangent on many things as it comes to my mind. So from Mayur Hunch, 
from a small town to the biggest cosmopolis. That's my uh, Bombay. At the time in Bombay, they were great writers, poet, musician, architect, dancers, theater people, you know, and so on. In 1959, I had a studio in Kulabhai Memorial Institute, who no, no longer exists. But there, there was Al Kazi, there was Ravi Shankar, and there was Iyengar, the great, uh, what do you call it, yoga teacher, Satyadev Dube. So there were many artists, Gaitonde, and, and, and so on. So one, uh, I, I was the youngest who had a studio there. You see? Next to Hussein. Hussein came after me in 60 or 61. So uh, one thing very good was in Bombay and amongst the visual artists. We don't believe in Gancho, you know, like the dancer and musicians do. We're much older, 30 year older than me. We call each other by name and we're very friendly. We eat and drink together and so on. So that was a very uh, uh, liberated very cosmopolitan. I knew Dr. Bhava, the scientist. I was having a drawing show. Dr. Bhava comes and pats at my back. He said, Mr. Das, I like your drawings. Would you like to come and see my studio, my work in the Tata Institute? You know, can you imagine? Over a glass of sherry. And I didn't know what was sherry. This was Moraji Desai with the chief minister. It was dry. It was Bombay State. It was Gujarat and Maharashtra together. Anyway. But he used to paint every day. He had a studio in his house. Our our nuclear scientists, our uh, what do you call the the Kerkefer school that goes up, Kerkefer school, uh, the, the satellite people. Some of them are guitar players. Some of them are singers. Some of them, you know, like like Satya Dre, who used to draw, who studied art, who used to play piano, and write and draw. So holistic. What I'm trying to say, there were people before. They were very holistic. They had interest in life. They had interest in food and music and painting and life uh, and, and so on. Today, people are very club into cubicles. Okay. Having said that, as an artist, no, I wanted to draw and paint. Okay, from my childhood. I used to spend the time in the garden. I used to look after plants. And draw. And when I went to Bombay, then I got married. When Nandita was born, my mother came to Bombay. And Pulava Institute was broken down. So we were in a flat. She was sleeping in the same room where I was painting. She said, This painting is very nice. Don't sell it. And then she told me when she was tiny, when she was in school, she got an award, a Japanese doll for a painting. She had forgotten. So she recollected that. So it must be in the gene. She wrote poems, and before, it's unfortunate I couldn't publish it before, but when she died, I brought out a book of poems written by her, you know, and things like that. So I am, I am as a human being, as I realize, I'm very concerned about my roots. I'm very concerned about where I belong to, and my context. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, <clears throat> sorry. When people say to be an artist, to be an artist today is a profession. For me, it's not a profession. Profession has innumerable connotations. But for me, it's my life. I'm dedicated. I, I live on the sale of my painting, but I don't paint for selling. Are you getting a very simple expression, but it's very loaded. And some of my contemporaries also believe in a similar way. Say so if you talk to Lakshma God, or if you talk to Surya Prakas, or Ramachandran, or Paramji, uh, K.G. Subramanian, these are the people who are committed with their work, and we lived on the sale of our work, yes. If something was sold, one was happy. Eh? So then you could buy paper, you could pay rent, you could pay the school fee, of the children and all that. You get the point. Uh, but never been after money or name. Let me tell you a very interesting thing which has happened day before. It was to happen just now. And that is, there is something called Dharmapada Purashkar in Orissa Lalitkal Academy. 
and I got a letter on the 7th of this month that you got a Dharma Pada Puraskar which was decided in 2013. Oh my God. 2013. And you will get it. Will you come to Bhuvaneshwar? The minister will give it to you. Now we can't have a function because of this. I said, thank you very much for thinking of me now after 2013. But I can't come because of the lockdown and my children will not allow me to go. So thank you very much. But I don't deserve it. There must be many other people. But why 2013? That man, they've all gone. The six other people have got it. The, the minister has gone and given them the award in their home. And the secretary of Lalit Kal Academy was supposed to come today after this program to give me the award. And yesterday he tells me he has some knee problem. He cannot come. He will come at some point later. Bit and it's bad. a laughing stock. Because shall I tell you, in Hyderabad, more people know about my painting than in Orissa. Oh, is it? Not a single person has my drawing. Not even a drawing. I've never had an exhibition in Orissa. Nobody has invited me for a lecture there. I have given at least 2,000 lectures in Europe, in America, in Indian universities, art colleges, architecture colleges, but in Orissa, where I come from. And that is why I'm doing an art center in Bhubaneswar. Was the JD Center of Art 22 years ago? I am a contemporary artist. I don't call myself a traditional artist or a modern artist. I'm a contemporary, Sama Samaik. I'm an artist of today, but I carry the 5,000 years of uh, cultural art history with me, like everybody does. No? This is a unique country where all of us speak three languages. Yeah, and uh, like I say, Bali was in Telugu. So I know a little Malayalam. I speak Oriya, Bengali, Gujarati, Marathi, Hindi, Punjabi, and a bit of Tamil. Uh, sorry, what do you call uh, French, German, and Italian. So you have to be shameless to learn with bad grammar. But I grew up in Bombay, and I've been in Delhi for fifty years. Right. Now, because of the Gujarati Marathi influence, I speak fluent Gujarati and Marathi even now. Some people who come to Delhi for six months, then they say, I've forgotten my language. As I'll give you a tight slap. How could you forget your language? Right? So, anyway, where they come for me? This is a great country gone to the dogs. Um, my younger son is doing, he wants to do painting. And his teacher is teaching him books from American uh, uh, video programs, how to, what is tone, what is uh, color, what is form. It's very sad. This is a unique country where you name anything about dance, music, painting, architecture exists. Yes. In, in northeast of India, people build houses on stilt so that the flood water will not come. The wild animals will not come. Our architects have learned Corbusier, Frank Lloyd Wright, and Louis Kahn, etc. They have not learned Indian architecture properly. Our art schools, they teach Van Gogh, Picasso, Mathis. It's very sad. You know what? Millions of these books are done. Okay? You see, we have had a colonial background. Fine. But 70 years after colonial uh, rule, we can't be talking about Picasso Mathis. Quite often, some people come to my studio and then say, are you influenced by Picasso? I say, who is Picasso? <laughs> they say, oh, don't you know Picasso? I said, of course, I'm not denigrating him. But why should I be influenced by Picasso? I'm influenced by everything around me. But I am more influenced by my own context. When I see Mahabalipuram, when you see Chola Bronze, when I see Konarak, when I see uh, uh, the uh, uh, Lekka Terracotta, when I see jewelry, when I see wood carving, stone carving, and Kerala murals, murals in the Jagannath temple, I'm influenced by that. The lyrical quality, the poetic quality in our country. In our food, you know, whenever I give a lecture, I normally end with food. Because I'll give you a very interesting example. 
When I used to study in JJ, I used to stay in YMCA in Bombay. And I used to walk seven kilometers sketching. So every day I did 300 sketches a day. Today, believe me, all these young artists will throw stones at me. They don't sketch anymore. They said they don't know it all. They straight away paint and exhibit and sell. You know, acrylic is one medium. You paint today, it dries in the night, and you sell in the morning. You did laugh. You understand what I mean? The wiki of the medium. Anyway, so I used to go walking from JJ to YMCA. On the way, Bade Gulam Ali Khan, the great singer, studio was there. I'll stop there to listen to him. So he would uh, say, Ah, kya padhiya sugandha ra hai. Something very, very fragrant, very lovely flavor of some food is being cooked. He said, I will do another composition now. The nice food is being cooked. You get my point? So 90% of the artists that I know all over the world, German, French, Indian, everywhere, they're very fond of cooking and they're interested in music. You know, my painter friends, my, my those are, they go to uh, see good films. They, they read poetry. They go to listen to good music, etc., etc. But the other way around, the musician and dancer don't go to see painting. Are you kidding? I'm yeah. trying to say. So, uh, what I've been talking now is a holistic commitment to life, number one like Dr. Baba had and others. And the other is growing from the grassroots level. Um, uh, commitment and influence and, and uh, of your environment, your context. And uh, so that is one. But uh, in last five years, I've shifted to, I don't have a house of my own, incidentally. My contemporary has eight houses. One in Bombay, one in Calcutta, one in Bangalore, one in Delhi, and all that. I have no house. The reason, whatever little money I got, I bought traditional craft, antiquity, you know, the bell metal and the brass, I have bought for 60 years, not only from India, from China, Japan, wherever I went. And that collection has gone to Delhi. I'm making 26 galleries, one for basketry, one for utensils, one for toys, one for miniatures, uh, one for jewel objects, ceramic, pottery, many things. So, uh, my daughter in Bombay and my two sons, my elder son, they're all looking after the art center. Then, another stupidity I have, I made a collection of handbags. Handbags. What do you call? Um, what do you call in uh, Telugu? Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Vishari, no, no, Vishankara. Vishankara, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hand fan, <Vishankara>. okay. <laughs> Vishankara. That, 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 that's very <laughs> unique, yeah. I can see something out there uh, quite behind yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Vishankara. So you have a collection of that from different locations or you, you make so, different yes. styles yes. yourself? That's it. You must know the story. And my listeners should be motivated. What all that I'm saying is not for myself. I'm saying so the younger people and other people should imbibe and take interest in life and its own context in India. Okay. Uh, 40 years ago, a friend of mine brought an antique and pan for me as a gift on my birthday. I said, oh, lovely. At that moment, I decided I'll make a collection of handbags. And then I continued. Today, my collection is the largest in the world. Collected not only from all over the country, China, Japan, Korea, Egypt, Africa, everywhere. And this is, this collection has been shown in the National Craft Museum in Delhi. It has been shown in Victoria Memorial in Calcutta, in Kennedy Center in America, London Fan Museum, etc. Now there is a proposal for a National Panka Museum. When the National Panka Museum will take place, I'll donate the collection to them. So, I'm requesting all my listening friends to make start collection of your choice. Eh? And that will build up. So you do it for posterity, for future generations. And the, these things give you the excitement, the energy for life. Happy? Super. 
<laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Like things have become easy. Those days, collecting stuff, you you had to request. Friends were traveling from there. You know, request them to bring it. You have no yeah. idea what's available where. There are hardly yeah, any yeah. pictures available online. So it is all of you know you you basically talking about it and your friends know that okay uh, you know Jatin likes this let me bring one for him. Yeah. So but now everything is online but I see very few people having this passion for collecting whether it's coins or uh, you know anything I I don't see that uh, passion for collection anywhere I've not come across anybody recently this particular yeah. age. Collection not as investment a lot of people collect now for investment. For value, mm -hmm. right. but there is a there is a intellectual value, there is a spiritual value, there is a creative value, and that is it's not that I was collecting long time ago. I'm still collecting, but for the collection, for the museum, you get the point. Anyway, we talked about the art center and the Pankha collection. I have a rented studio. Thirty years younger artists than me who are doing financially very well. They big studio in Delhi of their own. With a bot in ten crore, you get my point. And I have a studio, rented studio. And uh, so when I shifted, I got three floors, and some of my staff and students, etc., those were helping me. I found works of different period, works of other artists. They are being separated, documented, and archived now. Wow. So it's taken five years. It's not finished yet. They're being separated. No, so anyway, so painting, drawing, doing murals. I did a big mural in the Parliament in 2000. It was inaugurated in 2001 by Atal Bihari Vajpayee. Then, then uh, things like that. Then I did a big mural at uh, International Airport in Bangalore. Then I did a National Center for Plant Genome and Research next to JNU in Delhi, a big science center, and so on. Uh, but, you know, this is a country, there's so many architects, and there's so many artists, folk, tribal, classical, and contemporary artists. You'll be shocked and surprised to know that not a single architect has invited any artist to do a mural or a sculpture in Delhi. Very rarely, maybe two or three. You know. Ram Sutar is one who does portraiture. And he has done Gandhi and Nehru, etc., in different places. But uh, it's not a part of the scheme of things of an architect. When you do your planning, at that time you start uh, designing that you need a mural by so and so or this, you know, or a sculpture. These are pre. You see, when our temples were done, you know, there were no cement and mortar uh, line. One stone was sitting on the other with the weight, eh? hmm. and there was sculpture. So the sthapati, the person who designed the uh, temple, is also a sculptor. is also a civil engineer. He is also an architect. So there are ten thousand sculptors at Kavi. Two thousand are doing. There's inside. There's a mural. A relief work. High relief, low relief, you know. So the, you don't have to go anywhere in the world to learn these things. We have it in the backyard of our country, which are being destroyed systematically. Very sad. Anyway, you have any other questions, sir? I wanted to show the photograph because we have a lot of yes. audience and there are a lot of compliments work uh, which are coming in. Um, there are uh, comments which, questions. there are a few questions also which are coming in. Okay. But before that, uh, I actually wanted to... Uh, Show the uh, photographs, or the you know paintings, uh, which we have. The images of my work. The images of my images work. of you. There okay. are paintings, drawings, watercolor, sculpture, and murals. So please show, please show. Yeah, so the friends show uh, here. Here uh, are the paintings of uh, so so. Not coming yet. Yeah, this is the first one. Okay, while you are arranging. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, the audience can see. hear you. You you can talk while we are. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please arrange. Let me also mention to our audience 
that you'll be surprised all the museums which are done in our country were done during the British period. Till now, we hardly have any government museum that's done. We have a National Gallery of Modern Art in New Delhi, which is in Jaipur House. Jaipur Maharaja's house in Delhi has been occupied by National Gallery of Modern Art. It's not designed as a museum. They've done an extension, the branch of which is in Bombay and in Bangalore. Other than this, we government has not done any museum. You know, then the private people, there are private players, uh, there are Kiran Nadar and Vadera and Kemal Pandol, they have taken over. So there are auction houses, there are uh, galleries, what do you museum? Uh, but it's it's a pity. And the other thing is, after Hogia visual nahi ho hai. Uh, hora, sir. I mean, it is playing okay. right now while you're talking. So, yeah. So you could we, instead of showing me, show the visual. Yes. Now, other than the museum, there are many private galleries. People are into business of art, not because they are lover of art. There's a big difference. You know, people who dealt in art or exhibited or curated, they were lover of art. That's why they did. Today, it's a business of art. You know what people say, art market. I, I'm not in the art market. What has happened, even the artists have gone to the market, not only their commodity, they themselves also in the market. It's very sad. A creative person, whether you're an artist or a scientist, you have to withdraw yourself from public and media, from glare, from live life to work. Only when it's necessary. That means, if I'm having a one-man show of my exhibition of my painting, then I have to be present there or I have to go there. But other time I have to withdraw, I have to be incognito, I have to be in my private space to work. Good, what I'm trying to say. So, the gallery, etc., and the artist are doing art business. It's a commodity. You know, in my time earlier, we never used the word art market, art business, etc. But we're copying all this from the West. You know, when the, the video, video show, and uh, then computer generated art, you know, art is something, whether it's your dance or music or painting or drawing, it's, it's done by the artist himself. You know? It's not done by a computer. You know? So somebody can turn around and say, Jatindas, you are from another generation, you don't know computer, that's why you are saying. But what a pity that instead of drawing, computer is drawing it for you. Huh? Isn't that sad? Is that a pity? So, uh, like that. So, you're not being able to show the visuals? Yes. Uh, you know, till now we were playing the visuals. Uh, so, we're back you are. now. Yes. Yeah, we're so done. Why don't you block me and show the visuals? <laughs> yeah, you, you will not be able to see that, but uh, yeah, the audience, the friends could see oh, that. Others are seeing. Seeing. Others are seeing. Okay, yeah. okay. Very good. Okay. Now, um, so that's one. Uh, then I came to Bombay, to Delhi, Bombay. As I said, it was a very cosmopolitan, very energized <coughs> writer. Uh, we had a poetry group. Mm -hmm. I write poetry also. Okay. Wow. In some of our Jahangir Art Gallery, there's a little cafe called Samovar. And the very famous English poets, like this is Bezikil, Arvind Kishan Mehrotra, mm -hmm. Dilip Chitre, uh, Arun Kuladkar, our parts of Sarathi, we had a group and used to meet without public, no critic, none, nobody, just us. And used to read our points to each other. And 90% of the uh, dead and gone, it's only uh, uh, Ar Arvind Kishan Mehrotra is there and our parts of Sarathi is in America. So things like that. We were very private people, you know. We were not concentrating on exposure, exposition, promotion, uh, none of these. You know? There were people who used to work in advertising agency and corporate houses. In the evening, they used to do theater in Bombay, like Alec Padamsi, like Jason Dikuna, and all these people. You know? uh, uh, Al Kazi recently died in Delhi, just about a week, 10 days ago. And he was a giant. Theater. He devoted his time only to work, you know, and then he himself was a painter, he used to do, he didn't expose it at all, 
Then he started, when he gave up National School of Drama, he started the, uh, the Art Heritage Gallery. And he has a fantastic collection of graphics and photographs from 19th century. Now, so people have done extraordinary work in the past quietly without uh, that, uh, you know, banging their thing, you know, without getting drum. So uh, these days what happens is somebody making 10 paintings is exposing 10 paintings immediately. When we do hundreds of works, we selected 10 works to exhibit. Hmm. And not by anybody else. You are the best judge of your own work. I don't think this is good enough to exhibit. With that kind of thing. Like that. There were galleries who used to put us in the group shows first when we were young. For two, three years, then give a one match. When we are ready, when we are right. So, uh, in, in Shastra it says, when you work and slog and do your yas, and your exercise, your practice, around the 40 you start, around the 60 you are ripe to do. That's really what I'm saying. In every field. Uh, in our country, we have a concept. The process is important, not the final product. The Americans say, it doesn't matter what is your process as long as you win. Literally opposite. And the concept that we have in our country is the same in Japan also. Are you getting my point? So the, the Eastern world has a force of its own. Unfortunately, because of our colonial background, we were connected to the Western world. So America, England, France, Germany, you know, we are still caught up in that. Our furniture, our building, your cement houses, our easel painting, everything. We had in our country murals or handheld in nature, you know, you're not fine. So likewise, when we had uh, 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 the Guru Kul, the Guru taught one subject a day for the whole day. Today you have a class for 45 minutes and then mathematics, then history, which is not connected. So we live in a very artificial, make believe, pressurized, stressed world. How to break away from it? So, in the given situation, I have a refrigerator, but I also have a matka, a terracotta pitcher in which I put water and I drink from the terracotta. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. So, likewise, uh, if you don't have a big house with a garden, you can put some potted plants in the pathway. There are people in Europe grow five kilos of tomato in the balcony. So it depends. In any given situation, you make the best out. So uh, art, art is an integral part of life. Another thing, let me tell you: in the family, the society, the government, we have no understanding of art at all. If, like everybody else, including myself. When I wanted to do a course in art, my elder brother and parents always told me, no, 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 go for medicine. Uh, art me kuch nahi hai. You know? And so I did two years of inter-science with biology. Go for medicine. Then I, when I stood first in painting and inter-college and inter-university, then I insisted I want to study art. Get my point. Likewise in every family, it's not a new story. Okay. When you have a visa form, to go abroad, he said, are you a politician, are you a journalist, are you this, that, doctor? Then he said, others. We fill our name in others. Okay? When I got married in Bombay, they said, Achha, what, what does the boy do? He's an artist. He said, artist to theek hai, danda kya karta hai? <laughs> and he said, what I'm saying? So likewise, till today, Achha, uh, embassies, etc., if you go, if their dancer or musician goes, they're very happy. So in the evening, they can have dinner, they can have dance and finish with it. Or music. Eh? So performing arts get the maximum coverage in India, in the society and in fund expenditure. The Ministry of Fund. Visual art, because if I'm going to have a show, they have a crate, it has to be opened up. It has to be insured. 
then the exhibition will take for place for one month. You know what I mean? Then to unpack it, and it is too cumbersome for him. So likewise, the Lalit Kala Academy, Sangeet Natya Academy, Sahitya Academy, three academies, Trivedi, uh, Nehru started this in the name of on the on the same line of uh, uh, arts counselling. And ICCR, Indian Council for Cultural Relations, was started also at that time, and the same uh, year of British Council. That is for promotion abroad, and this is for our country. And in our country, in our ancient time, we had complete understanding, Trivedi, for forming arts, literary arts, and visual arts. When you use the word for painting, painting also signifies drawing, painting, sculpture, architecture, everything in visual art is called painting. It's not just. <clears throat> it's also a word which is used quite often in the past for fine arts. Fine arts, yeah. Okay. Then when you say you are an artist, usually referred to only to a visual artist, to a painter. Otherwise, you say it's a dancer, it's a musician, a theatre person, and he's an artist. Today, everybody is called an artist. The gallery was for painting. Okay. Today, they say there's a sari gallery, there's a crockery gallery. With my point. And so on. So there is a different usage to the term, etc. Originally, uh, portraiture was done by artists. When photography came into being, photography took over, portraits were done. So there was a different di uh, direction to art. But everybody in the world, because of the dominance of the Western world, everybody is referring to Picasso, Mathis, Brach, and Cubism, and Pointillism, and Expressionism, etc. We don't have to. It's like the dog show. Uh, uh, this is uh, today is the Friends' Day, today is Mother's Day, Brother's Day. You know, all this. It's come from abroad. These are also contamination. These are also virus. No? Like Coca-Cola is a virus. No? You get what I mean? Right. <laughs> like today, if you ask somebody, how are you? They say, I'm good. It's a, it's a very arrogant expression. No? Uh, I'm fine, or I'm sad, or I'm angry, or uh, depressed, or whatever. Earlier people will say, I'm fine, thank you. These days people say, I'm good. <laughs> now, because of the virus, People are told to take off their shoes, wash their hands and feet. This was a part of their culture. Hello. When I was making a collection of handicrafts, I was making a collection of handicraft for the Festival of India in Russia in 1987. I went to the entire nine states of the eastern part of India. I went to Assam. I went through the rice field. The moment I arrived, nobody asked anything. Somebody came and washed my feet. Somebody came and spread a chatai. Another person came and fanned me. Another person came and gave water and receive. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's a part of our Indian culture. Today, all the urban, modern, uh, educated people take their shoes to the bed. You know what I mean? Even in Japan, they don't take their shoes inside the house. So, we have drifted away from our culture. I don't mean religion. I don't mean, uh, uh, what you call, what's the word, uh, any kind of, a, not flying the Indian flag. But it's very aesthetic, it's very refined, there are a lot of sanskar in it. Whether in painting, sir, I, I, I was doing a series of painting in uh, uh, Nepal, uh, invited me to some exchange program. And I was doing painting, one of my assistants went, uh, we went to see Tanka painter. So he told my assistant, it's very painful and it's very difficult to do because he takes a cloth, rub it for 10 days, then smoothen for 10 days, then he applies the coating for 10 days, like that. Today, we will buy, we knew how to stretch a canvas. Our traditional artists know how to make handmade paper, how to make a brush how to grind colors. Today it all comes ready-made. In earlier time, even now in the villages, people know how to make a mud house like stone. They put jaggery, they put husk inside 
and if you even hammer it, it won't break. So what I'm saying is that knowledge, the expertise, whether it's our jewelry, with our dance, or music, or painting, or architecture, the garment, everything is there. The amount of varieties of shoes, varieties of pagdi, turban, you name anything. The way we eat, the kase ka thali, all over the country, the chip type, and and katoris, little bowls, and a glass, and something very dry, something fried. Something semi-gravy, something very gravy, eh? very eh, spicy. Something khatta, sour, and something bitter like inka patta, lemon, green chili, ghee. That's a thali. That's a sweet. And the thali is large. With my point, when I was a student, I used to paint. We used to have in JJ. We used to have evening classes also. But professor was a great artist and a great teacher. He comes to me. Is he? What are you doing? He takes a knife and takes away the paint from my canvas. I have to get burning, angry. Then he said, "Clean your palette." He said, "Put green here, and then yellow. Which color will should be put where? So get big stuff, eh? And how to hold a palette? How to big stuff at time? Wow. How do I can stretch a ten feet canvas myself? I know how to prime a canvas. Ninety-nine percent of the artists today don't know how to prime a canvas with what. Okay. You get my point. So, frankly, the uh, uh, traditional artists have no knowledge. Lot of knowledge. Lot of urban people are going to the traditional area and destroying them. Say Kondapalli toys. Hmm. The lacquer. In Orissa also we have lacquer. We have lacquer toys. Fantastic terracotta lacquer. I by research, I've done for 50 years on lacquer terracotta. Wow! You know, I am not a, I'm not a modern artist as I said. I'm a contemporary artist, but I'm not a traditional artist or a modern artist. I'm an artist. Are you getting what I'm saying? And I have interest in everything: making coffee, making tea, looking up the plants, looking up animals, and drawing, painting, listening to music, everything. You get my point. So my request to my listeners: put your heart and soul to life. Read poetry. So let me Vishnu Vishnu Dharma Uttar. Vishnu Dharma Uttar, the treatise on art, it says, even the kings, uh, uh, the prince, goes to a gurukul mm-hmm. to learn. He says, I want to learn music. Will they? I want to learn music. He says, Oh, you want to learn music? Okay, then go and uh, uh, learn the uh, Vidangam. Then he goes to Mridangam teacher. He says, Mridangam. Then he learns sculpture. Then, then, then eventually he's put in the garden to look after plants and animals and wash clothes. The prince. Then after two years, guru goes to him in the winter. So let's have a bath in the river. Now you sit and do sa, sa re ga ma, because when he was in the nature, you know, he learned. Uh, no, he listened to the. Uh, water. He listened to the breeze. He saw the plants growing, the animal look after, etc. So, so that's why there's an old saying: nature in the best teacher. So, if you invest in your roots, in your tradition, in your family, in your culture, and your everything, then uh, uh, it will work. Any other questions, sir? Yes, sir. Both questions. <laughs> It was so nice listening to the entire journey because you you made us realize what what we are missing. Uh, you made us realize that we are running in the wrong direction. You made us realize what what I um, mean the uh, recent thing which we spoke about. You know, the prince has to go through all the cultures. And it's so no, motivating me no, that you know, बच्चे के school छोड़ के I think you know we should get into that process. I'm really looking for somebody to start this uh, course. Which yeah. basically, you know, teaches all this in the old traditional style to the kids, you know, rather than yeah. education. Uh, we do have some questions from the audience. Uh, Sunita Agrawal uh, basically is asking, uh, uh, sir, any guidance for women artists who are struggling to manage home and have oh, passion of art? Don't, don't say more. Don't say more. Nothing like women artists and men artists. Okay. First of all, that's very wrong. Yeah. So, please, Sunita, I don't know where people learn this. You know. I remember about thirty, forty years ago, 
National Gallery Mart was not organized because of the Western influence in exhibition of women artists. And some of the women protested, we are not women artists, we are artists. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. We have gone on a wrong path all the time. Does anybody say woman doctor, woman scientist? Eh, very wrong. So they're nothing like women artists or men artists. It is true a woman, woman can deliver a child, but man can. Man has a beard, woman doesn't have a beard. Okay, let's, the Prakriti and Purusha. Let's first understand what is Prakriti and Purusha. True. But in activity, a woman can drive a, 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 right a plane, and you can drive an aircraft, you can drive a car, you can uh, paint, draw, scientist, doctor, everything. Frankly, is Shakti. Woman is Shakti. What Shakti has Purusha do not have. Do you know the female fetus survives more than the male fetus? I've been told. You know, I'm very lucky. You know why? I'm mathematician friends. I'm physicist friends. Top mathematician. Top physicist. And when we talk, we speak the same language. I know nothing about mathematics. I know nothing about physics. But I find there is a connection in life. Uh, so, come back to the question. First of all, there are no women artists, etc. Everybody should. Acha. Everybody says, I've got three children. How can I do? I have to cook. I have to make this, etc. You make time for it. So you've got such a beautiful Kansaka glass. You know, <laughs> shining like. Yeah, yeah. And anyway, so they don't like a women artist, an artist. And in spite of, there is no best situation in the world. There's an old saying, Saat kilo ki hoga pir radha na cheke. They know best time. Somebody who has the ear has no gold. Somebody has the gold who has no ear. In the given situation, many people all over the world in every period of history, they've created things devoid of funds, facility, family, and everything. So, to women artists and men artists, I just draw and paint and sing and dance and cook and eat. Super. Next. Thank Next you. question. Next question is from me. This is not from the audience, but yeah, uh, yeah. friends do do uh, shoot up questions if you have. So, yeah, uh, next next question is. Uh, every person has a style. So, what is your style when you're going for a painting? Okay, you, you yeah. want to paint on the wall. So what are the things you carry? What What is the way you dress up? Yeah. What are the accessories <laughs> around? What What is the style you carry yourself? Style is a very dangerous word. Okay. <laughs> uh, in art school, many teachers in our art schools in the country tell a student, you must evolve your own style. And your style is like Picasso, like Prague, eh? which is very wrong, very wrong. You know what is style? Do you know Kumar Gandhar sings? He has a particular resonance in his voice. Bade Gulam Likha has a different resonance. That is the style. A style is not known to the artist. Quite often when people talk of style, they are referring to manners. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you can recognize a Hussein's painting because similar looking, so it's manneristic. But, but uh, I'm the same person. So if I do a drawing or a painting, if I'm not thinking of my audience and buyers, each time I'll do something different. And sometimes the viewer may not be able to recognize it's my work. That's good. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Those who can, no, this is very subtle. Please understand. Those who can recognize, they call it style, but it's manneristic. Lot of artists do similar work for sellability. I think I'm making a very strong statement. No? Lot of times when people do well, they come of age. I have seen some artists copy their own catalog and books to do a replica of the previous one. Repeating what I'm saying. So sometimes the market force and media forces a person to do the same thing again. This is why you do it wrong. Anyway, returning back to style and mannerism, they're two different things. Any other third question, sir? 
Yeah. So when when you were hanging out with the friends so during the conversation, you said you were hanging out with like-minded people, people from different yes. backgrounds, engineers, artists. So what was the mahal when you were writing poetry? Mahal kya tha? Was it right, like uh, the gathering was during sad situations or the gathering was like just for fun? You were celebrating something. What were the occasions you met uh, all your friends frequently and? Yeah, yeah. How was the connection? Your relationship kaisa tha? Apart from being an artist, how was your relationship with your friends around you? Uh, uh, okay, let me start from the end. Today, when you meet a scientist or a sociologist or a professor from JNU, he carries a placard on his. As a sociologist, I think like this. <laughs> as a physicist, I think is a very stupid, very arrogant expression. Is again a Western expression. I never said in my life as an artist I think like this. That's a stupid thing. I'm not just an artist. I'm also a father. Eh? I'm also a poet. I'm also a painter. I'm also an activist. I also get angry and happy and sad. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I uh, when I'm with my poet friends, I'm not thinking about painting. I'm, I'm completely involved in poetry. It is not for fun. Uh, it is not for achievement because we are totally engrossed in poem. Are you getting a point? Quite often, people simplistically say, "Oh, Yatin is writing a poem like this because he's a painter." You know, this is a stupid thing. Of course, uh, uh, Sunia, let me put it in another way. If you eat bindi and fish and rice and roti and everything, it becomes a blood, a drop of blood. You can't separate the bindi and rice in your blood. Huh? So everything that we all do, we imbibe and assimilate and come to us. We do not have to separate and analyze anything. So one is about women artists and men artists. There is nothing like that. The other is about uh, style and mannerism. Something else. And what your third question was? Friends That's with friends, more friends. Than. No, friends. You see, um, there are many experiences. Samaskanda bhakti. People who have similar sensibility, etc. Rasik. Jo ras aswadan karte. Those who uh, enjoy the nectar of poetry or painting, you spend a, a complete evening with it. Are you getting my point? So I, I knew the poet Dom Morais was a, not a you with my closest friend sukhdev the filmmaker chari the filmmaker dinevar chari he is a great documentary filmmaker in bombay in those days alkazi the theater person alik padam singh the theater person he is a musical uh, uh, professor of english literature and a poet and a critic so you know innumerable people jagmohan jagmohan was in uh, bombay who wrote at least 5000 scripts for documentary You know, there's a Satyan, the photographer who went to Andhra, back to you know, Kesikandra Bhavan or wherever he went. So Girish Karnad, you know, there's a the friends who are who are deep involved in everything. If they're having a drink, they're enjoying the drink. If they're talking of a poem, they're enjoying the poem. Are you are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, they are not missing out on the other two. You know, fully involved in everything. In life, the involvement in life, in prakriti. Any other questions, sir? Yes. Have we gone beyond our time? <laughs> no, no. आप से बात करते हुए मतलब time का मतलब I am not I am not this thing and the audience are also so glued because the comments are you know kept coming in so. Yeah. You know. But you know, अच्छा. Sometimes the mother brings a little child. Yeah. It's a Jatin Bhai. You know, can you tell her or him? How to paint and draw? I said no. Uh, any book? I said no reference to book. <laughs> Just give him or her ordinary paper, recycled paper. One side is typed in your office. Bring fifty paper. Give it to the child to draw. Then they go back. Jatin doesn't know anything. He didn't tell us what to do. He just told us for him to draw. If you sing, okay, bhai. So I want to sing. So then sing. Sing in the garden. Sing in the kitchen. Sing in the toilet. And then when you keep doing it, acha. I should tell others. 
you bring 1,000 sketches, then come to me. They didn't come. Then eventually I said, bring 100 sketches and come to me. They didn't come. I said, bring 20 sketches to me and come. They didn't come. They don't want to work. They want a tablet culture. Mm -hmm. Does anybody does Ayurvedic thing? No. You have a headache, you take aspirin. No, bhai. The same culture. We have gone on a wrong path, bhai. Completely. I don't know what to say. Somebody might turn around and say, my daughter was 16 or 17 in college. Eh? Okay. Eh? They had closed the door and they were dancing. So I told my daughter, Mama, don't close the door. It will be suffocating. Dance. I also want to dance. So when I dance, so the, her friends were saying, Uncle, but you dance better than us. I said, sure. <laughs> so when I'm dancing, I'm enjoying my dance. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. So we are getting involved in everything. I told you at the beginning, you have to be shameless to learn everything. But Dusra, this country has every damn thing in the world. Why Andhra food better than Tamilian food? <laughs> Uh, why Why there are not many good painters in England, they are in Italy, France, Germany, everywhere, not too many. Because the English food is very bad. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? True. I'm talking at the okay, spectrum, both ends. You know? If you have good music, good painting, good food, etc., then everything will evolve. In. Yeah. Everything will be artistic. Yeah. And you don't have to try to be artistic. I, I've never tried to be an artist. You know, I never carry a banner on my chest. You see, we have catalogs, there are films made on us, and we sell a painting for this price. A simple artist in the tradition, he doesn't show off at all. Let me give you another example. At my art center in 2004, I had a national sculptor's camp. My center is only center in the country is for tradition and contemporary both. So, I called Dakshinamurti, mm -hmm. the famous sculptor, I don't know whether it's still alive or not, uh, from Madras, and many other sculptors. Eh? And their traditional sculptors had only one thin chisel, one thick chisel, or one hammer. Three objects, right? That's it. Okay. They were doing fantastic sculpture. Okay. After two, three years, my son got to meet with our meet a, a sculptor from England and he got a big stone, very expensive, and he got grinding machine and filing machine, which made noise. The entire Bhubaneshwar was uh, Bhukam. <laughs> and eventually he made a cube. After all these machine and noise and the dust, he made just a cube. That's it. modernity, <laughs> Are you getting my point? He is just all beside you, right? He is just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the recipes when people are showing on the television. Hey, koro garlic and hey, broccoli. Hey. Hey, a lady goes in Oscar's market. She has read in the magazine and the television ki broccoli salad khana chahiye. Do you know for tropical country people should not eat any raw food? Raw vegetable. All the bacteria, all the infection in the raw. That's why a cucumber you peel off. That's why all our food was always boiled. Okay? Now, this lady goes to Hoskar's market and somebody is selling the vegetable on the floor. On the floor. So all the dust is coming in. Say, brookly, then a brookly. Brookly, capsicum, capsicum, <laughs> then a, She can't even pronounce it properly. Because she had heard broccoli, capsicum, you made salad. Are you getting what I'm saying? You get all kinds of bacteria infection from salad. Unless they are properly washed. Do you know a lot of my friends don't eat salad anywhere. Not even in a hotel. They will eat salad in my house. Earlier I used to cook a lot and invite friends. I don't do anymore. And because I wash it many times. Then frozen water. Take it out. Then uh, put a then little healthy powder. Then take it out. Then drain it, wipe it with a clean cloth, then put it in the fridge, then make the salad. Anyway, so you know, whether it's his painting or music or dance, what do we do? Bala Saraswati. We spend all our life 
I remember in IFX building where she was doing, she's standing, she's about 70 or 80 or whatever. And she just tucked her sari and she was doing Krishna Nive. And I cried. You know, so that is how it is. Where are the singers? Where are the dancers? Where are the painters? Where are the architects? Where are the, where are the politicians who are lover of art? You know? Are you getting what I'm saying? So, yeah. Emperor, Mughal Emperor wanted to invite Tansen to come and sing in the court. Tansen said, I don't sing in the court. So, Mughal Emperor chained his clothes like a common man, went to his window to listen to him. Get that point. So, we have it, everything there. If you scratch a little bit under the earth, there is there. But it's all vanishing very fast. Politicians, educationists, parents, everybody is spoiling it. Parents, do you know 90% of the kids are learning commerce or IT? Do you know humanities subjects have been abolished in many universities? Forget about art. Art should be a way of life. You and I are talking to each other. We're not abusing each other. Now. Look at the politicians, they, they, they abuse each other. What our next generation, our present generation will learn? If you, do you know when a chair is designed? The body has, the anatomy has a curve. None of our chairs are designed for our body. Do you know that? Do you know that we should sit on the ground? Then your knee and your ligament problem will not be there. Huh? We only sit on the chair. Do you know the modern people today? They can't sit on the ground. Because they only use a chair. True. And when I tell them in my studio, in my house, I have a shoe rack at the entrance. They say, why? puja hai kya? I say, you all of you come from some bloody village in Gujarat or Maharashtra or Karnataka or wherever. In your house, you never took your shoes in from your mother or grandmother. Yeah. So, what is it? Let us put, what is it that is we have destroyed? What, I'm making another very strong statement. All the educated people are very all simple, uneducated villagers at the real Now, look at this. I have done within this four and a half months sketches, ink with brush, on exodus of laborers. Only about that. Four and a half months, I've done about two, three hundred. Did you read that there's a girl who had only two thousand rupees, bought a cycle, and with that bicycle, took his father 1,200 kilometers, drove to his village. Or village. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know in Assam, where there's flood, they got banana trunks tied together is a boat. You yeah, have fantastic area. Yeah. In Assam, six villages got together without the help of the government, made a bamboo bridge, floating bamboo bridge. They are the real people. Tell me. After this girl, this is in the top of my head, I'm writing about it, also a drawing. Tell me a single educated boy or a girl, modern, educated, rich, middle class, whatever, gone to see their grandparents driving even 100 kilometer on a bike. So, he has gone 1200 kilometers. 15 year old girl. So, you get a gist, no? you get an inspiration. If somebody is doing a good painting, drawing, oh my God, why can't I draw like that? Even my point. So what are this? What is this society? What is this? Yeah, what is this life about? Thank you. Sorry, I'm straight too far. Sir, one one last question from me. I thought I'll ask you. So for, for music, we generally have Jugal Bandi. Right, I mean, yeah. all the artists yeah. come together and do it. Similar to the yeah, yeah. which you discussed now. So, for yeah, yeah. artists, do you do you have a forum where you you compete? Uh, you know, gather no, and no. then compete. As well, a was done as an entertainment for the audience. Well, Bhandi was done for that. It's not a part of a music repertoire. It is a later on version. Uh, you see, when I was a student in Bombay in Rang Bhavan. I have to listen to music from evening till next morning. Today, music concerts are 45 minutes, one hour, one and a half hour. So, people do many things 
हाउ टू कीप द ऑडियंस एंटरटेन सपोज हम बात कर रहे हैं ना मेनी पीपल माइट है वॉक्ट अवे अरे ये तो कुछ ऐसे ही आलतू फालतू बात कर रहा है इसमें मुझे सीखने का कुछ यू नो व्हाट आई मीन लाइकवाइज सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल इन वेरियस सी आई वोंट नेम द आर्टिस्ट मेनी आर्टिस्ट टुडे ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड डूइंग समथिंग बिग समथिंग सेंसेशनल व्हिच विल ड्रॉ अटेंशन बाय व्हिच दे विल बिकम फेमस ओके थैंक यू thank you sir thanks okay. a lot for taking time out uh, thank you friends for joining and clarifying your questions uh, it's a very uh, nice introduction nice conversation and uh, thanks to dr sneha lata ji because of uh, her i got the chance to audience. yeah <laughs> so she is in the audience right now so you know once we go offline we'll we'll connect again malli vasta no malli vasta yeah malli <laughs> but yeah. thanks a lot with uh, due to her i got this opportunity to meet you um, heard a lot i, I did a list research a lot of research about you uh, very very no, humble you person should also draw should also draw and sing and dance yes sir cook sing dance right. uh, cooking to uh, to an extent but yeah i'm just waiting for a uh, what what is it called hazel stand or something uh, i'm just waiting Don't for wait. that to start off <laughs> wait many things start doodling okay yes sir thank you and encourage your family and children your neighbors to do everything Sure, and sir. It's time for everything. All the best. Thank Namaskar. you. Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you, friends. Uh, and do do uh, follow Sneha Arts and uh, her page because we're planning to get more artists, senior artists like Jatin sir. And do follow Jatin sir. Uh, his his art is just awesome. Uh, you would have seen some of the paintings and pictures and uh, the uh, some of the points which we shared uh, during this conversations are very insightful. and yes we are definitely in a wrong direction we have to accept that and some of these suggestions uh, mean a lot so thank you friends uh, have a great day thank you all the best thank you keep keep smiling and keep working bye bye thank you